Time now for today's Market Movers with easy to follow futures and options trades from the CME Group. Welcome to Market Movers, I'm Jim Murillo and today we're talking about world central banks as we are coming up on an ECB, a BOE and a Fed meeting all within a short period of time. We're looking at using CME Euro currency option 6E as a means of hedging risk or creating exposure to these events. Joining me is Chief Investment Officer at Kingsley Asset Management, Scott Martin. Hi Jim. So, are we going to be surprised first off by the ECB or the BOE? Uh, surprised that they actually do something right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, possibly. I, I think we'll be surprised if they follow through on language that they put out there. But I think more surprised, Jim, could be in the underlying message that they put out with respect to maybe how they're looking at their economy, how they're looking at the fact that maybe growth is going to refire in that region and what they're going to do they're about in no it. hurry to raise rates. No, I don't believe no. so. And I think that's the right look for them because right now they need to keep the stimulus or at least, at least keep the lack of hawkish tone out there because of the fact that they're Okay. economies are still so in recovery. Our dollar mode. has been strong. Has that been solely a rate differential? Our rates are higher, everyone else are lower, or does it rely an underlying strength to our fundamental economy? Uh, yes and yes. Okay. And I think also the trade issues too. I mean, as we've seen over the course of the summer and certainly in the beginning of the year, as these trade tensions heated up, the dollar became that right. safe haven trade it instead sure of GC, surprisingly. Yeah, that's amazing. They did run to us like a safe haven. Now, before we dive into our trade discussion, I'd like to point out with all market movers, it's important to view these as examples of the live CD different ways to use futures and options products to either manage risk or create additional trade opportunities, not as recommendations or advice. Price and movements will vary. When we priced these out, the DC Euro currency was trading at 116.70. Scott. Yeah, wow. Jim, yeah. again, with the really t <laughs> quick toss. Um, I love currencies. I will admit that uh, right here and now uh, because of the fact that so much moves currencies these days Agreed. and they're just a fun uh, area to trade. And so what I like to do on, on a lot of these trades on market movers, Jim, is two things. First, punch up the charts and see kind of where some of those key levels are, support resistance, and see what, you know, kind of those numbers are. And then secondly, see where options are priced on those key levels that I identify in a chart. And today I was kind of surprised by what I saw once again. So therefore, I want to take advantage of something that's very important. Specifically, Jim, I'm looking today at buying the 115 114 half put spread for eight ticks or hundred dollars but I'm gonna finance that my friend by putting on by selling actually a call spread at 117 117 half for 12 ticks or about hundred and fifty dollars so I'm gonna take in a net premium of 50 bucks because of the fact that some of these calls are really wickedly priced to the upside which is really overdone in my opinion the DS underlying as you mentioned is one spot 167 it expires on September 28th so we got a couple of weeks here the trade risks 575 to make a potential 675. Now here's the thing. I mean, this if you look at the 60 e euro, it's kind of in this range. And the options pricing suggests we're gonna have a move maybe a couple cents up or down within that range or towards the bottom or top. So therefore I wanted to have some exposure on that at least bearishly speaking, because of the put spread, that at least I financed by some of those really overpriced call spreads. No, and in I my like opinion. a lot. Buying a put spread selling a call spread, like a covered, covered risk, risk reversal. reversal sure. Yes. No, and I like that on directionally, I like it too. I think the dollar looks strong and appears to stay strong. And again, I reiterate that I think it's the rate difference that keeps going to get wider, not more narrow, it appears to me. So I'm looking at something which I think you're going to agree with because it's basically about half of the trade you were talking about. I'm looking at buying the week for same expiration, the SEP 115, 114 and F put spread for 19 ticks. So it's closer to the market, but you, you pay up for that. And it goes off September 28th. It risks 237 to make a potential 1,012. I like it uh, because that was my expression too to some sure. degree, right? That's almost one leg of my, of my expression here. And I think that's good. Now, the only reason that I didn't do that myself is because I saw just that what I thought was no. a little bit overexposed on the call spread side yeah. from the standpoint of what the market's if we, pricing if in. If we had talked ahead of time, I, you could have probably easily convinced me. Well, well, I will try to again okay, because yeah. simply so, if the market stays here, let's say nothing happens in the next couple weeks with the 60 euro, I'm going to net a little four tick premium that we can take down to exactly. the corner store, for exactly. example. Uh, the rest of the year, two Fed rate hikes? Yeah, two Fed rate hikes and maybe a change in the ECB BOE language too by the end of the year too. So it's something to keep an eye More on. More hawkish? Uh, Potentially because of the fact that some of these options are really priced high, okay. man. Thanks for joining us on Market Movers. I'm Jim Urio, where we're helping to make you a better trader. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.